Hello our fellow activators and hunters too. This goes out to primarily the activators who are chasing those parks and then attempting to activate them. The last week or so I've seen the word failure prop up on the page and I want to first of all thank each of you who have put that word out there because what you have done is starting the teaching process for all of the new activators and or chasers that are around so that they understand some of the things that we go through. You didn't fail. You've done an awesome job. There's some oops moments that may have occurred, but let's share the weather. You can't control it. That's something that God above has control of. You can't control the solar flare activity. That's, again, not ours to deal with as far as controlling. We have to just put up with it. There are times when somebody on 20 and 40 is making contacts and you're not. Well, it's a two-way street. Sometimes you're making contacts and they're not. I don't understand how it works out, but it does. Look at the page when you post that I didn't make it or whatever. When it comes to oops moments where you forgot a radio, I haven't forgot a radio, but I forgot some components. Or you forgot a cord. Or you slammed the coax and didn't have any extra in the car door. Or the bug spray got left on the counter at the house, but when you got to the park, you were wishing you were at the house. The number 10 seems to be associated with failure, and I want you to understand when you get out there and put a park out, you've done an awesome job. There's not many people that do that. There's a lot of hunters, but not necessarily a lot of activators. So you activators, pat yourself on the back. I enjoy activating. I like going out, but I don't like not completing the task of getting that 10 contacts. There's several different ways to do it. Most of you that are seasoned know, go get your park to parks right away. Focus on that. Or you'll run digital, or you'll run CW. For those that are new to it, CW is going to carry much stronger in contacts than voice or single sideband. I don't do FT8 and digital stuff, so I cannot give you any opinion on that because that's not something that I focus on, but other people do, so they know how to get the contacts when we all get past that 10 number, there's a sigh of relief. But the band conditions can still be bad. The weather still can be bad. A tree branch falls on the one leg of your dipole. The wind blows over and tips the Wolf River coil upside down. There's a lot of things that you and I don't control. So don't consider yourself a failure. You've done an awesome job whether you get one contact on a QRP rig at 5 watts at an elevation of 12,000 feet or at sea level. You accomplished something. You had a goal to go out and make contacts. And if you accomplish one contact, I know you don't like to send the log in for one, but it's a credit to you for putting that one park out. And that chaser might be the state they need to have confirmed with your park. So there is a benefit. When you travel, if you have two meters or 440, and there's two or three people there, remember the simplex frequencies. Remember... If you got two or three radials and two or three operators, work on that 10 if that's such uh, a fear factor. 
but go out and have fun. I think that's the biggest part of what we do is to promote amateur radio in such a form throughout the United States, Canada, Germany, Puerto Rico, I think, uh, has, uh, again, this is new to me. I am not experienced. I probably should not even be posting a video, but I'm very proud of the POTA. And I look at my age and health. I don't have a long time. So what time I have, I want to make it beneficial to those that are around. If I can save you a heartache, I don't want you getting upset at yourself. You've done an awesome job whether you get 10 or not. So don't let that 10 number bother you. Do your best. That's all anybody expects of anybody. This is not a contest. This is a hobby. Go out and have fun. I'll be back out there shortly. If you like what you see, there's other videos. Feel free to look. Most of them are all by my experience. NC4XL, the darling old man, Dom in North Carolina, wishing all a blessed day.